Today, I'm talking about the veterans of Zimbabwe's Liberation War. In 2024, led by Ethan Mathibela of the Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association, these brave individuals have made fresh demands. And their call? To be granted freedom of the city and hero status to all ex-combatants for their role during the armed struggle. Just last week in Bulawayo, these veterans met with government representatives. It wasn't just a meet and greet, but a significant push towards acknowledging their sacrifices, which have long been the backbone of the nation's history. Matibala emphasized that this recognition is crucial, not just as an honor, but as a foundation for economic empowerment and security. Imagine this, you fought for your country's freedom, and now you're asking for a stand, a place that you can call your own, with a title deed as a token of gratitude and acknowledgement from your country. That's what these war veterans are asking for. But why now? And why is this so important? Well, it's a matter of dignity. Veterans Affairs. Minister Ambassador Christopher Mutsvangwa recently highlighted the government's commitment to enhancing the welfare of these war heroes. We are here to uphold the dignity of our heroes and heroines, he announced at a strategic planning workshop. This isn't just about the past. It's about the present and the future of these war veterans. It's about making sure they're not just remembered, but also respected and supported in tangible ways. What's happening in Zimbabwe is a vivid reminder of the struggles many veterans face worldwide. Recognition might come in different forms, but the core sentiment remains the same. A fight for dignity, acknowledgement, and a rightful place in the society they served. So, as we look at these demands by Zimbabwe's war veterans, let's think about the broader implications. How do we, as a global community, ensure that those who've served and sacrificed are never forgotten? That's a question worth pondering. Thanks for tuning in, stay engaged, and let's keep the conversation about our heroes alive.